Welcome to Lithuania. Today we're at the Coronian Spit after last week when I surprised my boyfriend Sam and took him on a mystery trip and he thought we were in Poland but we were actually in Lithuania. We got on the bus our second day and made our way over to the Coronian Spit. We had some breakfast on the bus and just some bread and fruit and nuts and then we were off. We had to get a ferry over to get onto the Coronian Spit from Klaipeda and it was really quick and easy and then when we were on the bus it took another hour to get over to the town of Nida where we were going to stay for the night. We just got to Nida after taking a four hour bus here and now we're going to go check into the hostel, go get some food, check out the sand dunes, maybe the beach, get a poop in. And <laughs> yeah. I got Roger. <laughs> Let's try the crib. Crib. <laughs> <Yum. laughs> Good first bite. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is our room, private room at the hostel. Got a seaside view through the. I think it has. Well, this won't open very easily, but. <laughs> We only got out to explore around 4 or 5 p.m. because sunset is super late and it was beautiful. We were so excited to see what was around. You can see the dunes over there. <laughs> We started out venturing over to the Parnitas Dunes, which are pretty close to Nida and really beautiful. You walk through this forest, that's a fairy forest, and then you get to the dunes and you have a nice viewpoint from the top. So we're at the edge of Russia here, and if you go past the border, then you would be in Russia. Then pan to the actual. This area is just a lot of sand dunes, so just over there is the border between Lithuania and Russia. And it's just kind of where the trees disappear a bit in sort of like a... Point a little to the left? Yeah. A bit to... no, left. More left, because there. There we go. There. The trees sort of land there, that sort of forms a line. There's a line line, which is the Lithuania-Russia border. There's sort of yeah. around here. Is the Lithuania Russia border. We decided to head down the dunes after and explore a little bit on our own, which you can totally do. So it was a lot of fun just walking around and seeing what the whole place had to offer. We're on the edge of the dunes, wandering around, seeing if we can get down at some point. But looks like we're not supposed to. We decided to go down that path and saw that other people were going down that way, so we followed it down to the water and it was a little bit gross in this section, I'm not gonna lie, but it was the fastest way back to town where we wanted to get some ice cream. We went back to where we had uh, lunch today and got ice cream and got mango. What did you get? I got a special Lithuanian cheese flavor and kiwi flavor. Yeah. She charged us for two scoops, but gave us about six each. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Then we were off once again to explore more because why not? With days so long, we had to go check out this lighthouse. This is one of the main attractions. You can pay, I think, five euros to get to the top when it's open, but it wasn't open when we got there. So we just saw it from a distance and then made our way over to the beach. And it was so windy, but beautiful and we had some time to kill so we went to this area. So we've just been getting some photos and videos here on the street because the well, road path um, because it looks really nice and cool and we had to kill some time before sunset because the sunset here is at 10 15 p.m. which is crazy. I don't think I've seen a sunset that late maybe once in the UK um, so we're gonna go catch the sunset at the beach and then head back to the hostel about 30 minute walk back yep. and hopefully it'll be a nice one. It's really windy, but it looks beautiful. So we're gonna head back now. The sunset wasn't quite what we expected, but still beautiful. We just got back from a long day and we're just chilling in bed and very tired. very tired. It's almost midnight now. We walked almost 20 kilometers today. 
19 and a half after not having much sleep so we're gonna have a nice chill evening sleep in tomorrow and go explore a little bit more in the morning or afternoon <laughs> crap's are really good one more can i say <laughs> so we just got back to this crepe place that we came to yesterday for breakfast or like lunch brunch and um it was really good so we're back and it's cute because the the family is well the children are here taking like making a video doing a documentary for school and um just the owners are really nice so if you're ever in the area <laughs> then you should definitely come yeah. to this place i'll put the text on the screen of the name because i don't know what it is but <laughs> it's really so this is the group of high school students that were taking a video of the business and it was just really cool to see and we enjoyed our breakfast then we went to check out this amber market where they sell so much amber jewelry because it's one of the biggest things that they sell from this island Later, we ventured out again towards the biggest sand dune. We've been walking about an hour and a half to get to the biggest sand dune in Lithuania. I think in Europe. Yep. We'll have to check that. Um, and we just arrived, but we've been taking photos and kind of vid some video clips of this forest because it's so beautiful. Definitely not great for my hay fever. <laughs> because the all the long grass i think yeah but yeah. it's really beautiful so the can't wait carpeted in the moss everywhere which is really unusual yeah it's really nice when you're walking through it's so soft yeah took some woodland creature photos <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna go check out the dune the biggest dune on the Canadian spit um this side is the baltic sea and this side is the lagoon through the um, so we've just come from that direction, which is the town of Nida, and it doesn't really look like a dune, and that's because they've planted lots and lots of plants and trees on here to stop the dune from moving, because these sand dunes basically were known as traveling sand dunes, and they would be blown and slowly, every, year by year, they would just slowly move across the spit. and. In the 1800s and before, there was small attempts to sort of keep the dunes in place by building wooden structures, planting trees to sort of stop the wind from being able to blow them and move them. And this was kind of completed by all the ones that threatened villages and towns and settlements by the end of the 19th century. But since then, they've also um, halted the movement of um, all of the dunes uh, via afforestation. And this is the tallest dune. It's not really near any settlements, but it was also uh, stopped by afforestation. And as you can see now, even though the earth is very sandy, it is just now covered in plants. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be a sand dune. <laughs> so, a little bit it disappointed. Technically is a sand dune, still. Yeah, but it doesn't look like the dunes we saw yesterday, so. It's still cool, but I definitely prefer the ones we went to yesterday, and I think we're going to go back later for sunset, um, if we can catch a sunset, depending on the clouds and everything. But yeah, we'll go check that out in a little bit. We ventured out on a different path than we expected, but we ended up at the beach somehow once again, and I was not complaining because I love the sand, it's so soft. Sam was going to swim, but it wasn't quite swimming weather. Then we ended our night with this beautiful sunset. And we had to walk to go get some snacks and had a little bit of fun along the way. We were too tired <laughs> to go watch <laughs> sunset at the dune. You were too tired. So we are here now instead of walking to get snacks. Yeah, some food. we're just going to have a chill. We've already walked like 15k today, so... Yeah, it's not too gonna just chill out the rest of the day. It was still a really beautiful end to the night and our time in Nida. We only had two nights, so this is the next day leaving. Got off the bus early this morning and now we're on the ferry heading back to the mainland. We got off in Klaipeda before we had our bus back to Konas. And this is kind of what the area looks like. We got some breakfast and a coffee and then went to the bus station. So guess who went to bed early last night so they could get up for the 3.30 <laughs> taxi? 
And guess who went out <laughs> to a bar with all the Spanish and Italian students um, to have some fun? Wow, you're so fun. It was Amy. She did it. <laughs> We're so sad to leave. You definitely need to check out Lithuania if you're ever in the area and have an adventure for yourself. Had to capture Sam sleeping, of course. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate your support so much. If you found this video to be interesting, please give it a like and subscribe for weekly travel content from me. We're actually in the middle of packing, so this room is a mess because we're heading back to Canada in two days. So stay tuned because there's going to be some Canada content coming up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!